What's up you guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be trying some of the most viral TikTok food hacks. The last food hacks video that I posted was about two months ago and last night I was on TikTok and I kept getting tagged so much in a video. I was like, what is going on? I click on the video. Turns out it is the viral cookie dough croissant. If you're on TikTok, you know what I'm talking about and if you don't know, don't worry because in today's video I'm going to show you. So long story short, I decided to go on my mentions and you guys mentioned me so much in so many food hack videos. I was like, you know what? That's actually what I'm going to be filming for tomorrow. So today's video, we're going to try all these viral food hacks and I'm going to let you know if they're good or if they're not good. Mm. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. We're starting off the video with a drink hack. I don't know if you guys know this, probably not, but my obsession with Red Bull lately is just crazy. Ever since I tried these like colorful can edition ones, I'm like in love with them. So as soon as I saw this one, I was like, ooh, the Red Bull alone is really good, but mixing it with raspberry lemonade just sounded so, so refreshing. It's supposed to be a very delicious summer drink, so let's give it a try. I have my cup of ice. We're gonna do first a layer of the raspberry lemonade. Perfect. Then we're gonna take some of the peach Red Bull. It has to be peach. First, let me take a sip. Cheers. So good. And then we're gonna do one more layer of the raspberry lemonade. Ooh, that looks so good. We're gonna give it a nice mix. Let's try it. Wow. It's so good, it's like fizzy because of the Red Bull. A little bit sour, obviously because the raspberry lemonade, but at the same time, it's like so tropical. It tastes like peach, like raspberry lemonade. Mmm. Wow. Right off the bat, we're starting off the video already so good. I'm gonna rate this 10 out of 10. If you want something refreshing, yet something that gives you energy, give this one a try. Up next, we're gonna be trying the viral cookie dough croissant. Let me explain to you what this is because it just looks so delicious. Basically what they did is you take a croissant, you take cookie dough, you put the cookie dough inside the croissant, close the croissant, put more cookie dough on top, pop it in the oven, and you come out with a chocolate slash croissant. Very crispy, very flaky, very crunchy. Mm, just looks so delicious. We're gonna take one croissant. Did you want one or no? Okay, we're gonna make it two croissants. Don't worry, I got you two croissants. This is why I love TikTok, guys. Honestly, like I've come to the conclusion that what is Google? I look for restaurants, recipes, anything, I look it up on TikTok. Like if you need something, just go to TikTok and you'll literally find anything and everything. We're gonna slice the croissant in half. Perfect. This one's gonna be for Jason. We're gonna take the chocolate chip cookie dough. Look how good the cookie dough looks. For some reason, I just wanna bite into it. As a kid, guys, I was never allowed to eat cookie dough, and I know a lot of people eat it, but my mom would always tell me that I was gonna choke on the cookie dough and to not eat it, but you know what? I'm gonna dough now, so we're gonna give it a try, and let's just see what does raw cookie dough taste like. Nope. Okay, yeah, no, it's not for me. Mm -mm. It's like too grainy. Do you hear that? The texture's throwing it off for me, mm, mm All right, we're gonna take two pieces of the cookie dough. We're gonna take a total of three, actually. Press it down. We're gonna close the croissant, put another one on top, press it down. Take one more piece of cookie dough, press it down, and we're done. That's basically what it should look like. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for this one. Oh, done. We have two croissants. We're gonna pop it in the oven at 356 degrees for 12 minutes. And while this is baking, let's move on to the next food hack. For this next food hack, well, honestly, it's like a food hack slash life hack. By the way, you guys haven't tagged me on any life hacks lately. That's why I haven't posted a video. So if you guys want me to post a new testing out TikTok life hacks, make sure you tag me on TikTok at a makeup by PETA. But anyways, back to what I was saying, we're going to be making a quesadilla on a toaster. You heard it right. Instead of like going to the stove, taking out a pan, heating it up, you skip all of that hassle. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna take a big flour tortilla we're gonna take some cheese, one here, another one right here. We're going to fold it and then fold it down the middle and it should look something like this. See, that was literally like, what, 20 seconds or less? You put it inside of your toaster. We're gonna leave it in there. I'm gonna put it in level four. I want it to be nice and toasty. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. I think it's actually gonna work. Do you think it's gonna work or not? No, I think it is, but we'll see. Five minutes later. Guys, I think it's actually burning, so we're just gonna stop it. Okay, we're gonna take it out. 
Okay, was it burning? Okay, this side doesn't look bad. This side, it was burning a little bit, but I wanna see if it melted the cheese. Oh, it did melt. Bruh. Mm -mm. It didn't melt it. Should I put it in there for a little bit longer? You should I feel flip like. Flip it over. Yeah, like this way, right? Uh, nope. Like open it up. Like, yeah, oh. Like mm. You're smart. You're smart. <laughs> what happened? You unplugged it. <laughs> there we go. Let's give it two minutes. All right, guys. I think it's ready. Did it melt the cheese? Oh, <gasps> yes. Perfect. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, let's take a bite. Mmm, look at that. Mmm. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this food hack an eight out of 10. I think it definitely works. So if next time you don't wanna cook your quesadilla on the stove and you have a toaster, give it a try. Guys, I really wish you could smell my house right now. Like it just smells amazing, divine, exquisite. It smells so good. I literally took these out of the oven, let them cool down. They're nice and ready. We're gonna do a little ASMR moment. So I'm gonna need everyone to be quiet so we can hear the crunch of the croissant. Are you joking? Oh, this, is it wrong? Is it wrong? Wait, wait, I think it is raw. Is it raw? No. It's raw. My dreams have been crushed. What? I was so excited. I think you should pop them back in the oven for another 10 minutes, five minutes, and see what happens. Five minutes later. So I put the croissants in the oven for an additional five minutes, and guess what? I went back on TikTok, and I looked at all the croissant cookie videos, and it was not raw. Bruh. That's how people eat it. They like it to be ooey gooey on the inside, but I was expecting to open it and see like a fully cooked cookie. So it turns out that I was actually wrong, and that's actually what it's supposed to look like, but I still wanted to leave it in there for an extra five minutes since I wasn't really a huge fan of raw cookie dough. So here is what the croissant looks like. Let me show you from the center. The outside looks so good. See, it's still a little ooey gooey, but not too much as like the beginning. So let's cut this in half. It's so flaky. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so excited. Here you go. That's your piece. Ooh. Cheers. cheers. That is so what? good. Oh my God, it's like so buttery, so flaky. It just melts in your mouth. Okay, now I can see why they said to leave it like ooey gooey on the inside because it just like melts in your mouth and it tastes so good. Mm. Like the texture of being like gooey mm -hmm. makes it better than just being hard because you get like the crunch, mm -hmm. you get the like, like the flakiness and then you get like the gooey cookie dough so it's like the perfect combination you know what's up you described it so perfect <laughs> literally so good mm. i'm gonna rate this 10 out of 10 so fire up next, we're going to be making marshmallow popcorn. When I saw this, I was like, ooh, this kind of reminds me of like Rice Krispie, but with popcorn. And popcorn is usually salty, and you guys know that I love sweet and savory. So this is actually very easy. All you need is butter, popcorn, marshmallow. You melt the marshmallow, you put in your popcorn, and you can add whatever toppings you want, for example, mini M&Ms, and then you eat it, and it's supposed to be very delicious. So let's give it a try. We're gonna take our butter. I'm using unsalted salted butter, throw it in there. Ooh, we wanna melt the butter completely before we add the marshmallow. Step number two, we're gonna be adding the marshmallows. That should be enough. Now we're gonna mix it until the marshmallow is completely melted. Do you wanna tell them what you did? No, you tell them. Guys, Jason was not recording. <laughs> he had one job, just to press record. So this entire time over here, like, all right guys, you're gonna take the popcorn, look at the marshmallow with the popcorn, you're gonna add the M&Ms for nothing. He was just watching me through the camera, but it wasn't actually recording. <laughs> and now it goes from me melting the marshmallow to a boom, <laughs> finished product. I mean, it looks amazing, look at that. But long story short, guys, I basically just took the popcorn, mixed it with the marshmallow, and then topped it off with some M&Ms, but, 
Now you'll never get to see that because Jason wasn't recording. So comment down below, L Jason. Spam L Jason in the comments down below. <laughs> Just kidding, but look at this, guys. At least the popcorn marshmallow looks fire. I let this cool down for probably like 10 minutes. I did put it on parchment paper just because I was like, it's gonna be way easier for it to cool down. Now here comes the fun part. Let's try it. Oh my God, my mouth is literally watering. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. The M&Ms add like a chocolatey, kind of like bitter huh? taste to it, but in a good way because the marshmallow is so sweet. The popcorn is so crunchy. I can taste the butter. The popcorn already had butter and then the butter that we used to melt just made it extra buttery. So good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The next time that I have a movie night, I'm for sure gonna make these marshmallow popcorn. I'm gonna rate these 9.5 out of 10. Up next, we're going to be making some Mexican candy watermelon. Holy moly, I was tagged so many times in this video. I was like, okay, 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 we're gonna give it a try. So all you need is watermelon. You also need some fruit by the foot. You need some tahin. You also need some chamoy and some lemon lime. I always get confused. This one right here, the yellow one. And you also need some popsicle sticks. That's all you need. So first step is we're gonna take our watermelon. We're going to cut it in half. Hopefully it's a good watermelon. What do you think, good or not? I don't know, I'm nervous. You ready? One. Oh, it looks okay. really good, it looks okay, really good. Okay, 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 doesn't look bad. And then we're going to cut it like this. You want some pretty thick slices, so make sure you get some thick pieces. The smell of watermelon is always so refreshing and so good. And then we're gonna cut it this way, actually right here. Perfect, it should look something like this. Yes, this is exactly how I want the watermelon to look. Now we're gonna take the popsicle stick and we're gonna stick it in there. Once you have the watermelon on the popsicle stick, you're gonna take two different plates. You're gonna use one for your chamoy and one for the tahin. We're gonna pour a lot of chamoy in this one and tahin on the second one. Once you pour the chamoy and the tahin in your separate plates, we're gonna take a fruit by the foot and we're going to wrap the watermelon in this. It might be a little bit hard because it's slippery with the watermelon. Oh my God, it smells so good. Should look something like this. We're gonna take the chamoy, cover it evenly with the chamoy. My mouth is literally watering already. Taking the tahin, we're gonna cover it also evenly with the tahin. And bam, you have a watermelon covered in chamoy, tahin, and fruit by the foot. The last step, the lemon. Oh my God. Here we go. Cheers. Ooh, guys, 10 out of 10. Mmm, wow, this is so good. The watermelon is sweet, refreshing. The fruit by the foot, sweet, chewy. The chamoy is like nice and sour. The tahin is spicy, sour as well. And the lemon, oh my God. 10 out of 10 guys. Buy watermelon, chamoy, tahin, the lemon, the fruit by the foot and try it right now. You're not gonna regret it. For the next food hack, we're going to be making a rice cake covered in chocolate. I usually love rice cakes with peanut butter and also banana, which basically we're doing the exact same thing today, except we're going to add chocolate on top. So all you need is a rice cake, then you're gonna add some peanut butter, then you're gonna add bananas, and you're going to cover it with some melting chocolate so it can get nice and hard. First step is we're gonna take the rice cake. Let's add some peanut butter. We're gonna go heavy on the peanut butter. Let's add some banana slices. This. There we go. Last step, we're gonna take the chocolate and let's just pour it on top. We're going to spread it evenly. I wanna do a thin layer, not too much. Once you're done, it should look something like this. We're gonna pop it in the fridge for five minutes so it can get hard. Okay guys, it's been five minutes. Look how good this looks. Also, hear the crunch of the chocolate. Like I said, I love rice cake with peanut butter and banana, but I've never tried it with chocolate, so this should be... Mm. 
What just happened? <laughs> oh my god, did it completely freeze? There we go. Okay, let's cut it in half. Whoa. Mm. All right, cheers. Let's take a bite. Wow, adding the chocolate on top was definitely like the cherry on top. It's so good. It adds a nice little layer of crunchiness also. This is milk chocolate, but of course you can always do dark chocolate. I love the taste of the banana with the chocolate and the peanut butter. From now on, whenever I do my rice cakes, I'm for sure going to be adding chocolate on top. I'm gonna rate this a 9.5 out of 10. For the last food hack, we're going to be making a strawberry pancake bites. I already have my pan and nice and hot. We're gonna be adding some butter. So in the TikTok, all they did is they made some pancake mix and they also sliced some strawberries. They took the strawberry, dipped it in the pancake mix, and they put it in a pan, and then you get your strawberry pancake bites. Seems pretty easy, so let's see if it's as easy as they made it look. I'm gonna take one of the strawberry slices. I'm just gonna dip it ooh, in the pancake mix and Put it here. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. We're gonna do the exact same thing for the rest of the strawberries. Just like that. It's been a couple minutes. Let's flip over the strawberry bites. Ooh, those look fire. Okay, that one doesn't look as good as the first one, but it'll work. And the last one. There we go. Now we're gonna let them finish cooking. Guys, the strawberry pancake bites smell so good. I do have to admit, mine don't look like the ones that she made. The ones that she made were smaller, more like bite size. Mine almost look like regular <laughs> pancakes, but they still smell very delicious and they look very good. So let's go ahead and let's give these a try. Here's a close up so you guys can see. Cheers. Mm. I think I definitely need some syrup. It's very plain though. I don't know how I feel about this. Honestly, I'd rather just make a regular pancake, get some fresh cut strawberries, put it on top, drizzle some syrup and call it a day. Maybe I need to make them a little bit smaller. I'm gonna rate these a five out of 10. All right guys, that is the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you guys can get notified every single time that I post a new video. If you guys do want to see more content behind the scenes i'll leave my snapchat qr code here so you guys can go ahead and add me thank you guys so much for all the love and our support and i'll see you guys on the next one peace yeah 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 Ay, coming in yeah flex i just want to win yeah